soon as possible. Meanwhile, stay tuned to this wavelength, stay calm, and stay in your own homes. I want your home. Remember, by leaving your homes, you could be exposing yourselves to greater danger. If you leave, you may find yourself without food, without water, without accommodation, and without protection. You should also refill all of your containers for drinking water after the fires have been put out, because the mains water supply may not be available for very long. Water must not be used for flushing lavatories. Until you are told that lavatories may be used again, other toilet arrangements must be made. Use your water for essential drinking and cooking purposes. Water means life. Don't waste it. Yeah, that's a good one. Stop smart. Ration your supply because it may have to last for 40 days or more. If you have fresh food in the house, use this first to avoid wasting it. Food in tins will keep. If you live in an area where a fallout warning has been given, stay in your fallout room until you are told it is safe to come out. When the immediate danger has passed, the sirens will sound as deadly note. The all clear message will also be given on this wavelength. If you leave the fallout room to go to the lavatory or replace food or water supplies, do not remain outside this room for a minute longer than is necessary. Do not, in any circumstances, go outside the house. Radioactive fallout can kill. You cannot see it or feel it, but it is there. If you go outside, you will bring danger to your family and you may die. Stay in your fallout room until you are told it is safe to come out or you hear the all clear on the sirens. Here are the main points again. Stay in your own homes, and if you live in an area where a fallout warning has been given, stay in your fallout room until you are told it is safe to come out. The message that the immediate danger has passed will be given by the sirens and repeated.